Today's devotion is a strong foundation. Our scripture comes from Luke 6, chapter 48, verse. They are like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. Our scripture speaks to a moment when Jesus was confronting the hearers of his word. He distinguished between those who could hear the word and those who were acting upon his words. Many crowds would gather whenever Jesus spoke. They would pack the mountainsides or the shorelines. Yet when it was time for action, there were only a few who responded to his call. Hence the words, many are called and few are chosen. Jesus compared those who listened and acted upon his words to a person who builds a house and who wisely builds it with a strong foundation so that when floods and storms come, the house remains intact. I point out, I point out in the scriptures that it does not say if the storms come, but rather than when they come. For those of us who live in areas that are prone to flooding due to our proximity to large bodies of water, we are always on alert that when heavy rains or storms appear, that storms may flood. Major storms like Katrina and Sandy and Harvey garner national attention, but any significant rainfall can disrupt your life if you live in areas prone to flooding. So it's not necessarily if, it's when. Many people in the Houston area lost their homes during Hurricane Harvey. And for those who were fortunate enough to rebuild, they did so with something different in mind. They reinforced their foundations. Whether that meant raising the height of the foundation to fortify it or to fortify it internally, they knew that it had to be strong. Today, we are in the midst of a storm of a different man. It's attacking us with its ferocity and it threatens to decimate any weaknesses that it finds in its path. In face of this, we have to be strong. How, you might ask. I'm reminded that we are proud descendants of a people who brought the world civilization, religion, and science. I'm reminded that we are a strong and resilient people. We have survived more than 400 years of oppression. We have survived lynchings. We have survived Jim Crow, mass incarceration, miseducation, gentrification, yet we are still here. We are well built for such a time as this. As long as we remember that we have to work together purposefully. So stay vigilant. Follow the guidelines designed to help us keep healthy. Make sure you're eating healthy and not just binging out in front of your devices. Check on one another. Rise each day and smile that we have been given yet another opportunity to prosper. Brothers and sisters, we are part of a strong foundation. Let's make it stronger.